do we do we do just selling some parts in here because I got too many too many parts it's not really a problem. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back. In Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, right? Just hanging out here in the shop. And I got a new whip. New ride. Made by Gollywog. And he's created the Twin Mill. The Hot Wheels Twin Mill. Now, he did. He is the creator of the uh, Bone Shaker. And uh, the car is dope. Now, the only problem with this is I just, <laughs> just messaged him on... Uh, on the uh, on on Discord, and uh, I was like, "Hey man, um, how do I get to the steering rack?" And he's like, "Huh?" I was like, "The steering rack. I can't. I can't get to it. Apparently, this uh, it's just gonna need a little bit of an update. Just a little bit of an update, because in order to get to the steering rack. Oh, hold on a second." What kind of magic and... Oh, see now... Oh, it, ja it jammed me. Here's the thing. The steering rack is in the center of the fuel tank. I can't get to it. Like, I have to pull some kind of trickeration. I don't know how I selected that. That was some witchcraft. But the steering rack is in the center of the fuel tank. Let me see if I can try and pull it off again. Can I do it? I don't know how we got that close. Oh, we selected it. Yeah, so the problem is that the steering rack is in the center of the fuel tank. If I go to have to do some sort of magic trick in order for me to get to it. So, um, it is in the Steam Workshop right now, but it's going to it's gonna be updated. That's the problem. That's the problem. And the worst part is I got, uh, into, <laughs> I got into one engine over here. Uh, putting all the uh, uh, upgraded parts, all the tuning parts to it, and could not finish it. I was like, oh, because it won't let, it won't let you drive this thing. It won't let you drive it unless you have a steering rack. So I got another one. <laughs> this is a full, a fully, a fully restored one from the car salon, but. We don't have any tuning parts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tuning parts on it because I'm not sure if the uh, if the engines here, if both of them get calculated. I'm not sure because over here when I pulled this out of the junkyard, it was all junky as you would see. But then when I brought it into the garage, this engine was fully restored. Fully. And I'm also noticing that I restored this and then I left to the car salon and all the parts that's so weird okay so all the parts that I just put on it and spent a whole bunch of time putting on there all the tuning and performance parts they're gone they're gone interesting um, you can only take one engine out of the rack but you can mess around with both engines it's so weird it's so weird over here. It's all so weird over here, my friends. For you, let's go check out the dyno. I just want to see what specs are on this whip. See, it's 537 horsepower, which just means that uh, I would assume that it's only calculating the one engine. Tires are sexy. They are quite good, my friends. Quite good indeed. So, I have a feeling that this one is like a faux engine. And this one's the actual engine. Both have the certain parts to it, but it only, it only calculates for one. So we'll see. Go ahead and put this on the lip. Da, 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 da. Lip two. Be aggressive. Be e, aggressive. If I can get back to that steering rack right there, I'm gonna do my best to try. Um, I selected it and I was like, "Oh, we could do it." How did I do that? And then I deselected it, and I'm so angry about myself. So angry. So angry. So angry. Uh, all right. So. What we're gonna do here is let's go ahead and we'll grab the oil for you. 
and drain you. You only drain out of this one side. I have a feeling that this one engine is all we got. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Alrighty. What? What? So, all we're going to do is just take off the rod caps because we need to get to the pistons and replace the pistons. So we have to do that first. So, basically, we have to take the whole engine apart. But you don't have to take everything out of here. You don't. You can leave the camshaft. You can leave the camshaft bearing caps. You can do all that fun stuff because you don't need to worry about just gutting the whole thing. Now you can. It's your choice. You know, it's your choice. You know what? That's your choice. Okay. If you're into really taking apart engines and things like that, and you want to just do a clean, full restart, by all means. Don't, don't let me stop you. But just saying, you don't have to. You don't have to do the whole thing. Let's go over to the uh, gearbox. Into the gearbox. Da, 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 da. Hello. What's the problem is? Oh, I guess I gotta take you off here. All right. All righty. I see. I see what you're doing. I see what you're saying. I see what's going on. Huh. Now we can take. At least take that off. Boom. Now I've already pre purchased the parts because I was planning on building the engine on the. Uh, on the, the roached out one. So I think, all right. I'll tell you what though, if those parts are missing, I spent some money on them parts. I spent some money on them parts and now they gone. They gone. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? We'll see though. But I have a feeling it's only calculating for this one. For sure. Because I put all those tuning parts on there and I see those I see those cables. Those cables, the fuel filter, everything is exactly OG original the same. That's because I just left for a little bit. Went over to the car salon looking for this mama. And uh, uh is gone. What's up with that? Alright, so I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and we'll take this. We'll go old school style. We're gonna go old school style. Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 just taking apart the engine while we're inside the car here. Let's not worry about trying to get every, all the pieces out. Let's just do it the way we remember doing it. So we'll take apart all of the timing mechanisms here. Also, ooh, supercharger, where you at? Let's take out the ignition wires. Oh, there we go. Let's take the filters off here. Got the carbs. Carbs are bad. Carbs are bad. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, when you're wrestling around with carbs, carbs are bad. Make you gain weight. Mm -hmm. Some carbs. Some carbs, apparently. It's all about burning off them carbs. Some sweet, sweet carbs. Speaking about carbs, turkey day's coming up. Ah, uh, getting ready. Turkey. Mmm, Thanksgiving. Whoa. Let's zoom out. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for some gravy. Some turkey and gravy and football. And sleep. They say it's a tryptophan. When someone says that the uh, tryptophan, every single time during your Thanksgiving meal, if someone says, oh, we're going to be sleepy because of the, what's that tryptophan makes us sleepy, count it, and then you have to do a shot of Crown Royal. And then that's your, uh, that's your holiday, right there. And it was like, well, the turkey's making us sleepy. Yeah, well, you're also, you're also drinking Crown on the Rocks, so. Got that going for you. Got, you got a lot of things working against you here, player. That's my uncle. <laughs> he's like, man, that turkey makes me sleepy. Meanwhile, he's on the couch, he's on his recliner, watching the football game, drinking Crown Royal on the Rocks. But the turkey's to blame for his sleepiness. I'm like, right, right, mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to stop you, but please stop with the tryptophan talk. Does it even make you sleepy? I heard that, I, I, I've heard some things, some stuff. 
the trip to Japan is uh, not really the fault. I mean, I'm sure it, I'm sure it helps. I'm sure it provides in some of the sleepings. I don't know. I heard it's a lie. And if I heard it's a lie, then someone else probably heard it's a lie. It's a lie. All lies. Now this will be the last piece that we really have to take out of here because we just have to get to this cam gear and camshaft. Camshaft that is available for a tuning part and then we took that entire thing apart just to get to that one piece, that one guy. Now as far as visual, visual, uh, visuals go on this, it's gorgeous. It looks just like the just like the hot rod, man. Just like the Hot Wheels car, um, especially from Forza, Forza Horizon, with the uh, Hot Wheels, the one of the best expansions ever. Period. 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 Pardon me. Pardon me, dearly beloved. Pardon me. Let's go ahead and get a V8 pump, 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 pump. pump, pump. Let's pop you on there. Very good. Cause the bone shaker was fantastic still one of my favorite cars in car mechanic simulator because it's silly it's like that fantasy you know that's one thing that gollywog does uh uh he's, he's got a bunch of uh cars that exist but don't exist you know what i'm saying like they could exist but not really i don't like twin i don't know how awesome the twin twin mill would actually work in real life two engines you know that's so crazy talk now um but as far as uh Kind of like fantasy cars. I mean, he's uh, done the Mad Max Interceptor. Let's put this. Up. I hate the push rods. I hate it. He's done the Bone Shaker. Uh, Carambo is the one who did the pumpkin for me. Thank you, Carambo. And all of these are available on the uh, Steam Workshop now. Carambo's starting to upload up to the workshop. All of the mod creators are getting some sweet, sweet shine. That's good. Motivation. Sometimes people lack motivation to do things. I myself fall into there. But sometimes people get bored. That's why uh, <laughs> that's why Payne made the tank. He's like, I'm bored. I'm gonna make a tank. I'm like, all right, man, go yeah, do do what you gotta do, homie. It's all you. You do you. He's like, I will. I'm like, good. Go ahead. I am. Nice. All right, put on the exhaust manifold, which is also sexy for us. Performance parts out the butt. Boom. Good, 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 good. More for me and you. Let's take this, put on the distributor cap. They're capping. Let's gotta put on these clips right here. These clips right here, man. These clips right here, they're tricky. I'll catch up to you. They may not rock a rhyme, but you know, it's always tricky to rock a rhyme. To rock a rhyme that's right on time, it's tricky. Hey, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme, to rock a rhyme that's right on time, it's tricky. Ah, nostalgia. No, don't want that. Don't want that. We need that fuel filter right there. Boom. And then we're also going to have to go onto the fuel tank and put on a fuel filter. Uh, fuel pump. Pump, 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 pump it up. We'll have to put that on there. Uh, we need to put on the manifold, yes, my friends. Did I take this off? Was this done? I don't think it was. I don't know why we're doing all this. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure I would have sure remembered. It's been a long morning. It took me two and a half hours to find the, uh, to find the, the twin mill. Since I added it from the workshop. And I was like, I was actually seriously thought that I, something was wrong with the game. Because you ever, uh, I'm not sure all of you people who have, are watching, how many different mods you've downloaded. But there was times when we add it to the game. And then we're just sitting there, going to the junkyard, going to the salon, going to the auction house for like an hour, hour and a half passes by, and you still can't find 
What you're looking for? And then finally you find it. And you're like, ah, I knew it. I knew it was supposed to be in here. I knew it. And I should have put this. And also... Hold on here a second. Did I put the head on? The engine on? The correct one? Looking for red. Alright, I did. Alright. Just making sure I put the engine... <laughs> oh, that would have upset me. Put the engine head... The uh, tuned out part. Otherwise, I would have been very upset. Because I would have to take out all those valve push rods again. Install them again. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, okay? Let's take out the tools. Glare. Glare. Swag. Swag. Boom. Boom. Hello. Put you in there. Put you in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, you're looking so good. It does kind of bum me out, though, how the, uh... I mean, as far as the steering rack, it's no big deal. Mistakes happen. Ain't no big thing. Chain wing. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this. You put two engines on there, and I put the parts on there, and I leave, and you come back, and those spots are gone. Gonna have problems. I'm gonna have to fight. I will fight this car. I will fight. With my two hands. I got nicknames for him called Thunder and Lightning. You want to talk to the mic? Oh, what's that? That one's broken? I got a backup mic right here. I'm talking to the mic. I'm holding my fist ups right now. My fist ups. My fists. My fists. My fists up. Fists up. Boom. Boom. Engine head cover. Booyah. Booyakasha. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Nice. Nay. Very good. Very good indeed. Yeah, so uh, we're going to eventually sell this because I'm pretty sure it will have an update and then we'll have to mess around with it. We'll sell everything. We're selling it all. The fire sale. Those are not the proper cords. No, they're not. Those are not the right chords that I need for you. Those are the right chords because the color red. Boom. And drop it here. Here. Put on the carbs. Stack. We'll do a carb stack. Boom. Lovely. Do a filter. Now, there is no exhaust for the, uh, the cat here. No exhaust. What? I don't know. No exhaust. I don't know. So we can't put modified uh, tuning part exhaust on there. But that's fine. Because we got two inch. <laughs> if only we could just modify that one there too. That would be lovely. It's got dual fans, double fans. Nice. My super duper nice. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll lit you and then we'll recolor this and see what it's all about. We'll repaint it, not recolor it. Uh, hood. Put on caps. Put on the caps. We'll put on the drive shaft and we'll test it out in the dyno. Now, if it gives us a you know a high like ninety-seven percent. Then that does mean that the uh, engines do not coincide. It's only one is a foe, one is a farce. That's the one thing about. Uh, you ever see the movie The Village? I like William Hurt. Don't get me wrong. William Hurt's a talented actor. But then at the end, when he's talking to Bryce Dallas Howard. He's like, "It is a farce." I was like, "All right, I'm good. I'm done." I'm done with this movie. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to watch it to the end. Don't get me wrong, but... Spent. 
People were like, it took you that long? Like, yeah. Hey man, I'll give I'll give the movie some time. I'll give the movie some time to uh to pick up. I saw the movie Mother with Jennifer Lawrence. I was waiting for that thing to pick up. It did not. Uh let's see. Did I put a modified fuel pump in there? I did. Beautiful. Very good. Hey! That's pretty fly, man. Ah, oh, so cool. Now, can I get in it? From there? No? Alright, so front and left fenders. Nice left taillight. Fenders, the exhaust system, are actually faux fenders. Faux fender. Alright. Let's go ahead and we'll move it into the paint shop. Woo! And let's go ahead and get bring up the brightness a bit. Saturation. And let's get that sweet, sweet blue. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How blue can we get? Uh, it's, a little, it's a baby blue. It's a baby blue, man. Yeah. That looks about right. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's move you into the dyno. No oil in the engine, huh? Oh, now you need oil, huh? Oh. Sorry. All right, so let's put... Now, I have just put oil into this one, and I haven't even put the oil or done... I can't even drain the oil in the other engine. Now what? Now what do you got to say? Now you go to the dyno? Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, you will. Whoo! Didn't we go? It's pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Yes, I would. Run that dyno. Run, 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 run that dyno. Rejoice! 76% Now if only... I got an idea here. Hold on a second. Say we take these off. I just want to see... Because this is the closest thing I can get to, to messing around. See if anything kind of gets upgraded. I just want to see if the parts... If I put them on here, will they upgrade the horsepower? Do I need to pre- I need to purchase them. I need to purchase them all again. Need to purchase them again. I'll tell you what, we'll get a fuel filter. We'll also get this one because they're super easy to take on and off. Ah, uh, carburetor. Got two of you. I can take apart the whole thing. That's not the right one. Boom. Put you there. Boom. Put you there. Scoop. Scoop. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Scoop. I can't take apart the whole uh, ignition. Cool. What the hell? Okay. You want to mess with me? You think I'm playing around? You think I'm, you think I'm playing games here? You think I'm playing games? You think it's a game? It's not a game. Alright. Let's take you off. Uh, you know, we can at least put the ignition wires on there, though. Make it look the part. Put on these ignition wires right here, man. Put on the fuel filter. Boom. And ignition coil. B. Aggressive. B. E. Aggressive. And let's head over to the dyno. And let's see if we got anything. Any luck. 
Yeah, at least it matches, you know? It looks a little nice, isn't it? Guess I would. If it goes any higher than 76%, then we are mis uh, mistaken. And the dino will recognize the second engine. Sneakster, you little sneakster, you do re recognize it just fine. All right, well, I'll be right back in a second. I gotta take apart the second engine now. Great, great, great. Alrighty now, so everything has been replaced that I can replace with a performance tuning part. And now we're just doing a uh, final little pieces here. And then we'll take it over to the dyno and see just how loud and how far it will go. Alright, oil pan. Now, I could not drain the oil out of this. It wouldn't let me. It keeps on going over to the right engine. But if you uh, take the oil pan off, it dings you a hundred bucks because you didn't drain the oil. I was like, well, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. That's why I thought this was a faux engine. I was like, there's no way that this can actually be a real thing. It wouldn't let me touch the oil. Silly me. Silly diesel. Silly goose. Silly goose. Alright. Now let's see what you can do. Now let's see let's see how fast she can go. Come on, but I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Yes. Alright. It was eleven hundred and eleven horsepower last time. Good baby, feeling good. Nice. Almost fourteen hundred horsepower. Thirteen hundred seventy-six. Nice. Twenty-five hundred forty-seven torque. You six. Now, how much can we sell this for, though? That's the real question. One hundred fifty-seven thousand. That's okay because I purchased you for one hundred and fifty-three. But I spent a bunch of money on you. Then I'm not going to get back. That's a shame. For shame. 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 All right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go fire this hog up. See what you can do. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Other one's a bit of a mess. Just a bit. Just a smidge. Just a tip. Just see how it feels. Ho 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 ho. Oh, see? See, we got a problem with that right engine. We have an engine down! I repeat, we have a we have a piper down! I repeat, we have a piper down! We have an engine down, man! Oh my goodness! Woo it's Spencer. It's a donut monster. Oh, where's it going? Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a spin monster because of the tires that are on it. If we put some slicks on here instead of the standard tires that are on it, we wouldn't have the donut problems that we have in here. But it is fancy. The model of it is fantastic, just the the double engines, the uh, the game ain't feeling it, you know what I'm saying? It just ain't feeling it. Now, I'm going to bring it back in here, is the engine back? And is the engine still have the tuning parts on it? That's what I'd like to know, because every single thing, well, like, like that's the problem that I was having with the other one, was that it reverted back to the original engine after I put all the tuning parts on it. And... Boom. Yep. It's reverted back to the same old engine. No tuning pods on it at all. 
Well, that's a shame because you sure are pretty. You sure are pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are a pretty girl. Mm hmm. You're a pretty, a pretty lass. But since it's going to need an update, we're going to go ahead and sell the car. We're going to sell the car. Cha ching. Let's make our money back. Or at least some of the money back. And for you, let's just sell you too there, bugaboo. Yeah. Um. Yes. And then we'll sell all these parts here too. Good day, sir. Sir, I said good day. Ten grand worth of parts. <laughs> that's a lot of parts. But folks, that's going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. Now I'll check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Next time. Soon, my friend. Soon. I got so many old, old, older cars to mess around with. So nice.